Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode 21, I think. I always forget to look. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's 21. Uh, this is a different background, obviously. It's the background of my living room, which has been moved since we got new living room furniture. New to us living room furniture. Uh, this this episode is going to be a little bit more casual because, uh, two reasons. Well, three. Three reasons. One, Jesse's not here. <laughs> He's at my mom's. Two, he broke my tripod, so I can't do it at the table right now until I get a new, another tripod or stack up some books or something. And three, I don't have a lot to share, and I hate that. And I know that in the last few episodes I haven't shared a lot, but it's going to change now. I think because me and Jesse are both over our sickness almost 100%. Every now and then I still kind of congested it congested me but uh we're pretty much back to normal and uh we got the new living room and everything everything's finished that we were working on so um i'm gonna start doing more projects and i actually have a thing up here to show you kind of i don't know if i can show you that well <laughs> um to talk about about projects and about using uh yarn that i have in my stash that i've had for a while and that i need to just hurry up and use so all right, now that's out of the way. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and hop into it. I only have one finished object, and it is something that I didn't even have started last time. I can't remember if I even mentioned it last time. Let's see here, I have my computer. My only finished object is this. It's a little, uh, I don't know what these are called. They're just round, the ball ornaments. Um, Christmas pudding. I don't know why I love the image of Christmas pudding so much, but I do. My other pudding is right over there. And I just think Christmas pudding is so cute. It may taste horrible, but it looks cute. <laughs> but uh, it is a free pattern. I found it one day scrolling on Facebook, I think. And it's on Ravelry. It's called Christmas Ornaments because it comes with this one and then a Santa themed one. By Maro, oh Lord, Kakali, Kakali. I have no idea. It'll be linked below. I'm horrible at pronouncing anything, just about. But I love this little ball. It's fairly big. I mean, as you can see, it's my hand. And it was hanging on a tree, but I grabbed it off. I love homemade ornaments, and I, I plan on making some, maybe not the same one, but something similar for my my family members. Um, that'll hopefully be some finished objects next week, or at least pictures of them, because if I gift them to them already, you know, I won't have them. Duh. But, <clears throat> anyways, I should have brought some water. I always think of stuff when it's too late. <laughs> I think it's turned out super duper cute. It's a little uneven, but I mean, if you bake, I guess they're baked. Are they baked? If you bake something, sometimes it don't come out even, so it's still adorable. And uh, he hangs up there, uh, close in between my s'more and my mistletoe slash turnip, because I still think he looks like a turnip. I still haven't put his mouth on there either. If anyone's ever played the game Harvest Moon, it's a Nintendo game. That rem it reminds me of the turnips off there. So it's a mistletoe or nostalgic turnip. Either way, it's awesome. <laughs> That's the only finished object. I haven't touched my grease blanket since the last time I talked about working on it. I might work on it tonight since Jesse's not here. Because that's something that I can't really work on with him because all the bobbins bouncing around and all that. He'll grab them and run and mess it up. But he's not going to be here tonight or tomorrow night because tonight he's with my mom and tomorrow night he'll be with Devin's dad. Anyways, uh, I only have two whips currently as at this moment, but I will have more hopefully by the end of the day. <laughs> um, one is, I just literally started it last night. I did, I think, two and a half rolls uh, before Jesse wanted to go night-night. And it is, and you're making, uh, blah, blah. I'm using Walmart uh, Mainstays, and it's just, I think it's called Medium Gray Heather. It's just like a dusty gray color. I noticed all of this uh, yarn from this brand has like a real a dusty color to it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like, you know, this is gray, but it's not all the way gray. I don't know if that makes sense. But it's a decent yarn. You know, it's fine. It's not exactly the gray color I wanted, but it's still a nice yarn and it's still usable and I'll still use it. I bought this recently. This is actually one of my acquisitions. <laughs> but um, this is all I got so far. I think I'm three. One, two. Yeah, I um, started the fourth row round. And this is the Wonderless Beanie. It's a paid for uh, PDF download, but you can get it for free on the blog. And it's called Wonderless Beanie by Kristen Holloway. And she's, let me see what her blog is called. I think she's a fairly popular one. I can't remember. Whoops. That is not what I meant to click on. 
it's only a two dollar PDF that's not bad and um, I was totally gonna buy it as PDF and then I, when I was reading on the Ravelry page I saw that it was free on her blog her blog is called oh <laughs> it's called Kristen Holloway designs she's probably got a bunch of patterns I don't know but it's free it's written out pattern on the blog for free which I have it saved in my phone so that I can just use it while sitting around I'm hopefully gonna get some work done on this I don't know why but I wanted a gray beanie just cuz I was gonna make a ponytail beanie but I just don't know if my hair would look right sticking out of it cuz I do wear my hair in a ponytail a lot but usually the ponytail holes on those are up high I don't wanna wear a ponytail that high up on my head like in the 90s and I don't ever wear my hair in a bun because it's too short to to wrap it in like a ballerina bun which is the kind of buns I like buns. <laughs> but um, when I used to have really long hair I would use one of those bar those foamy things that you would wrap your hair up in to make a ballerina bun on the top and I loved that but it only looks good when you have long hair on me but uh, anyways uh, this is not a bun hat obviously because it's solid right there um, it's kind of, it's real textured. It almost looks like that real popular knit one that CC Beanie or whatever that everybody's going crazy about and they got knockoff versions at Walmart and such. And I actually have another pattern that looks more like that that is a crochet pattern of it, but and I was going to make it, but I just I was reading the pattern and it just I don't know, I just something about the pattern I didn't like. But I read through this pattern a little bit and it's a really cute looking hat and I think it'll look good in gray. I think it'll look best in a solid color or like a very <clears throat> subtle like a heather or something with the little not a heather but it's called tweed with the little flex and stuff in it and just nothing like a self striping or something I think that would be take away from the pattern anyways that's my first whip and my second whip is the Christmas lot still for me I let me get them over here my little scissors so I don't lose them I got it in this little thing that my my brother's new wife so I guess you know my sister-in-law it was she like gave everybody gifts, family members gifts on the wedding day and this was down in my bag with stuff in it and I've kept it because it's awesome. But I have four orange ones, four yellow ones, three and a half, well three and three fourths, I'm almost done with them, blue ones, and two red. And the reason I only have two red is because I ran out of this color red and it's like a bright red. <laughs> I said red a lot. And I don't have any red super saver other than the kind that I made Santa with which is like a darker red other than uh, the mainstays red which is again that dusty weird color so I'm gonna wait and buy another skein of red heart red which I need anyways because I like having the basic colors stashed so that if I find an amigurumi I want to make I can make it right then and there kinda like this little guy he was all made with scraps and this is every bit of him is red heart and just I have a little baggie in my stash box for balls and the little baggie is the little tiny ones left over and that's why he was made out of little tiny leftover bits. Anyways, I got four orange, four red, or four yellow, almost four blue, two red, and then I'm going to make four green and two more red. And then that's how big I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it four <laughs> repeats of the colors. Because I want to be able to drape them over our hallway door gap thing. And it's like a double door size, so it's uh, big. And I want to next year because they won't be done this year obviously because I ran out of yarn anyways next year it'll look awesome hanging up there and I might actually make more to hang over the window I don't know we'll see <laughs> I really like that pattern I made it for my sister and I love that they're big when they're stuffed they turn out pretty big and it's just cute because it reminds me of the old timey bulbs my grandmother used to use those big ones that you can't find anymore but yeah that's a free pattern which everybody already knows probably because I talked about it like the last two episodes it's called just Christmas Lights by Jean Herman and it's a really simple pattern like I have it memorized the bulb I have it I'm sure once I start making the little green attachy thingies I'll memorize it but right now I can make the little bulbs without even looking at the pattern which is awesome because I like it and it's quick and I've been making these little bulbs while Jesse's playing or when we go to the skate park and Devin's skating I'll just make bulbs <laughs> alright that's all my whips let me set that behind you <clears throat> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Excuse me. Alright, I guess I'll talk. Well, this is my one light bulb that I'm working on right now. It's almost done. I'm right to the point where I start decreasing. I just, I was working on this yesterday. It's attached to a giant blue ball. <laughs> um, 
I think when I got the couch, right before uh, my father-in-law messaged about bringing the couch over last night that he gave us. I only have four acquisitions. And this was bought with money from where I babysat. Uh, I got two of the head, the medium heather gray. Well, the light might have just changed because it got darker outside. Mainstays yarn. I was going to get the Red Heart Super Saver medium gray or whatever. But it, this is a dollar cheaper. And I was just getting it to pick my stash because I didn't have any of this color gray. So I'll put the Red Heart back and grab two balls of this. And then also for just stash, I have no idea what I'm going to use this for, but I just like having certain colors on stash. So I got <clears throat> one of the jumbo petal pinks, because I used all, almost all of my petal pink for my pink lady square. And then I got a jumbo, oh gosh, I always say this wrong. I know what it is. It's the stone. It's like, I, I, miss, I can't say it. Y'all know what it is. Purple. It's a pretty purple color. <laughs> I used all of it recently. I had some purple. My bat, maybe, for Halloween. I don't remember. But, yeah, that's all the acquisitions I got uh, that's yarn related. Because I don't show everything I buy because I'd be weird. But, <laughs> uh, not very interesting. I know, I'm sorry. The lack of content. But the next thing is kind of interesting to me, at least. And I'm going to have to find a different one. I got this bag because I was like, yeah, it's awesome. I can use it. But then I realized the zippers broke on it. So, this is just one of Jesse's toys bags. And right now it's got this in it. A bunch of red heart blue yarn and a bunch of red heart stripes. I have four full skeins of red heart, I think it's just called stripes. Red heart super saver stripes in bright stripe colorway, which I just thought it was cool when I bought it. I think I bought this out of birthday money or babysitting money from the summer. I can't remember. And then I have two giant jumbo skeins of. I think it's just called light blue. Yeah. Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue. Plus a big ball of it and a little ball of it. This is actually from the same skein. It's just I had it in two different balls. I've had this blue yarn since the Christmas that I was pregnant. Which would have been Christmas 2015. <clears throat> so almost two years. My father in law bought me this blue yarn when because uh December that year is when we found out we were having Jesse and he was a boy. <laughs> Well, we already knew I was pregnant, but we found out he was a boy. Uh, so I got a lot of blue yarn that year for Christmas uh, to make baby stuff with. And I did make a baby blanket out of one entire one of these and some. Like one and a half, because that's what these other ones are from. But he bought me four of them. <laughs> I don't think he realized how much yarn is in one of these. But, you know, I'm not saying anything bad. I love it. But that's why I got these pulled out. I want to start pulling yarn random yarn like this that I don't have any other plans or any future plans for that I can think of off you know the top of my head. I want to start pulling them out and putting them in a the bag. I was going to use this bag to help out the zippers broke so I'm going to find a different bag or box or something. Dopper box or something. And um, put some yarn in it like this is enough for two different projects. I have no idea what I'm going to make with these yet. But that's what I want to do. I want to pull out yarn, put it in a specific place where I see it like this bag <laughs> so that I can go into Ravelry or wherever and try to find patterns to make with it. I know I want to make a blanket with this and I found a blanket that I think I want to make with this but I'll need to pull out another color and it's called Sweetheart something. Let me look. It's on my favorites. I think. I think it's called Sweetheart. It's a free... No, it's not Sweetheart at all. It's Lace <laughs> Lace Afghan. Ugh, I can't even read. Lace Valentine Afghan. I found this the other day because I was thinking about making a pennant for Valentine's Day and so I was looking up I just typed in Valentine's Day on, uh, or Valentine's, on Ravelry, and it brought this up. And it's, uh, I guess it's like a, it was an Afghan size, so it's like a throw Afghan <clears throat> that you put on your couch or something. And it takes 3,400 yards, and it uses uh, multiple colors. And so uh, I calculated it that day, and I think I have enough of this blue to do the main part of the Afghan. And then I was going to get like a cream color. I have a lot of blue too. The actual red heart blue, like the light bulb blue that I'm using. I don't want to pull it down because I'll knock it off. Uh, but I don't know if blue with blue would look good. I don't know, but I thought I would make that afghan and just give it to somebody or save it for if someone has a little boy or something. Um, it's just a cute little, it looks like it's made in motifs that have hearts. I guess I could try to show you. I don't want to shake the camera too much. <coughs> 
right there. I don't know if you can see it good. Right there, that's a little bit better. I just thought that was a really pretty pattern. And I think I have enough of this light blue to make it. I may try, and you know, worst case scenario, it looks like it's made in squares. I could just make a smaller one, like a baby Afghan size. And then slap the border on it and it'd be done. And and then with this yarn, I have no idea what I want to make with this yarn. I just thought it was pretty and it was an impulse buy. But I have four skeins of it and each skein has 236 yards. I would probably make a pretty decent size something with it. <laughs> I just don't know what. So if anyone has any ideas of what to make with this yarn, and don't say hats, please don't say hats. Because <laughs> if I make hats, I'm going to have to make like four or five hats. And I'm going to lose interest after one with the same yarn. Unless I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> if it's an order, I would do that. But um, I don't know. It's, I know it's long color changes. And I think you can plan pull with this with the granny stripe. Or what's it called? The granny square plan pull or something like that. But I don't know if I do that, how what how big of something I can make with this. Because, I mean, 236 times 4, that's not big enough for, some, you know, like a afghan. But it's enough maybe for a baby blanket. I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has used any of this, not just this color, but any of the super saver stripes to make something that involves four skeins because I have four skeins of it or like a two skein project that I can make twice post it below let me know because I need some help on how to get rid of some of these yarns that's just laying around my next goal after I make something with these two is I'm gonna fill my bag whatever bag I get with mandala cakes because I still have eight and a half I think gnome mandala cakes I have three genie I have four unicorn, I have one and a half pegasus, and I have two pixie. I know what I'm going to make with the pixie. I'm going to make a tank top thing, but I was, I was waiting until I got spring. Because <laughs> I don't want to make it and then it just hang around forever. Because it would be kind of sad. I want to be able to wear it. <laughs> but um, I don't know what I'm going to do with all the other yarn. And I don't want it just sitting around forever. You know, I want to use it and I want to get more projects out to show y'all, to share with y'all, but also to start giving to people or whatever. And I love making amigurumi, but the, the big ones, like Santa, I don't know if you can see them. They take a while, especially with Jesse. But, like, little things, like here's a little elf. I made this way earlier in the year. Uh, it was a, it's a Mary, a Mary Smith pattern. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this is one of her cows, and I think July, because it was like Christmas in July or something. And, um, you know, he only takes little bits of all these colors, and I think I made this in like one sitting. One day with Jesse, because back then, you know, Jesse was not as hard to deal with as he is now that he's running around getting into everything. But this is my goal, is to start using yarn to get rid, not to get rid of a stash. I don't know why people always say that they want to de-stash and get rid of their stash, because I like having a stash to make stuff when I want to, you know, like that doll or that little pudding or whatever if I you know if I see a pattern I'm like oh that's cute I can make that in a couple of hours I want to go make it I want I don't want to have to run to the store to make it but some of these yarns like this one I've had since summertime sitting around I bought it without any idea of what to make and I want to just use it and like this blue yarn I've had it for two years there's no amigurumi off the top of my head I can think of that I want to make this this color and I have a bunch of variegated yarn that I want to either finish my ugly blanket with because I started a granny square ugly blanket with it. I have a bunch of squares for that too. Not a bunch, like six or seven. So I need to either finish that afghan or rip it out and just make little amigurumis because I can make, like everybody makes the little octopuses, octopi. <laughs> uh, in variegated it looks good. Or teddy bears, you know, any kind of little animal thing looks good in variegated. But, I don't know. I just, just please give me ideas to use this yarn because I've had it for a while and I, it's pretty. I want to use it, but I have no, uh, no idea. I thought about making amigurumi out of it, but I think the color change is too slow. I've looked on Ravelry, and some people have made dolls and stuff with it, but I just think the color change is too slow. I think amigurumi, if you're going to use a multicolored yarn, it needs to be variegated to where it's short color changes and not self-striping to where it's long. But anyways, I think that's about everything for this episode. <laughs> I babbled a lot about random things, I guess, but it's all yarn related, so that's the point of this podcast. <laughs> um, 
Let's see here. Yeah, I think that's everything. So, as usual, all the links are down below. My Ravelry page, my Ravelry group, and my Instagram. My Instagram is most active, usually. I am thinking about making a Facebook page or group soon, just for when I share um, pattern codes and things that I find. I'd like to be able for... I'd like to be able to share it with y'all directly instead of just all my random groups that I'm in because some of you may not be in those. And if I made a Facebook group or page, you could like or join it and then you would have access to those codes as soon as I found them and you wouldn't show up a day or two late and be like, oh, I missed it, which I've had people do. And I feel bad because, you know, I want to be able to share that with everybody that I know so that they can get free patterns and stuff too, or at least discounted ones. So I am thinking about that, but I have no idea how to do that. I have to look into it and see about how you know the the rules and stuff because I know you know you're not supposed to make copywritten items like Disney themed things because technically that's copyright infringement <clears throat> and all that stuff so I, I would want to be real careful not to get into trouble or get anybody else into trouble but uh, I'm gonna look into that and then maybe update about that soon <laughs> and um, I already said that. I am still doing Vlogmas. I've done so pretty good so far. I haven't missed a day, I don't think. I haven't uploaded one today yet, but that's only because I have edited it. Edited. Edited it. Oh, that sounds weird. I have not edited it yet. <laughs> I need to edit it. Um, actually, I don't even know if I filmed much yesterday. I may have another Ravelry tutorial up later today. I have one more filmed, and then I have a, f a, f a couple more ideas for other ones. Uh, some, a lot of people have been liking the Ravelry tutorials. I'm glad they're helpful. But anyways, if you have any questions or comments or need help with some sort of tutorial or something like that, just um, message me on Instagram or on Ravelry or comment below and uh, you know let me know what you need help with and I will do everything I can to help you. And hopefully uh, we'll be of help. <laughs> but um, I think that's everything. <laughs> oh, and if anyone has any interest in making videos, do it. I was terrified when I first started. Like, my very first video was just an entry for a Margaret Allender contest that I did not win. But I tried, and then I started making horrible videos after that, and then I've slowly progressed and gotten a little bit better. Uh, I think. I may not be that good to some people, but um, <clears throat> if it's something you feel like you want to do, do it. Worst case scenario, no one watches them. All you gotta do is delete it and just continue watching other people's videos. You know, that's what I told myself. You know, if, if no one watches them or if people are mean, I'll just delete it and go on with my life. But luckily, people have watched it and liked it, and it, you know, it's given me more confidence to keep making videos and to try to make different videos like Vlogmas. And a lot of people are interested in Vlogmas because they think, I guess, the same way I do, that I want to get to know these people also. You know, like when I see Randy and um, Danny and all these other uh, people that I watch on Facebook, YouTube, I you know, also want to get to know them a little bit because, you know, they're just like us. They're just random people out in the world. They just happen, we all just happen to have something in common, which is crochet or yarn related things. But anyways, <laughs> if you're interested, just do it. That's all I can say. Don't worry about the quality or anything. I will tell you one thing. If you're filming with your phone, film this way. Not this way. If you film up and down, it gives you the black bars on the side. And they're kind of annoying to watch and they're hard to see. Um, like if people are trying to show you something, it's hard to see because there's only that one viewing area. So if you turn it sideways to film, it'll film in widescreen so people can see your video better. And the black bars are on the side. But anyways... Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next Vlogmas, which will be later today. And I will see you in the next Crochet Talk next Friday. Bye.